There is a major news coming out of the sugar industry today as BSI ASR announced successful outcome to its request for injunction regarding the export regulations imposed by GOB earlier this year. In a release issued by the mill today, it states, and we quote, an emergency injunction hearing was scheduled to take place on the 21st of July 2023, but following requests from the government's legal team, BSI agreed to consent order to maintain the status quo until the substantive case is concluded, most likely in the new year. This means that the areas of the regulation being contested will not apply to BSI unless and until a judge decides they are lawful. Late this afternoon, the company's finance director, Sean Chavaria, spoke to the media to further expand on this most recent development. With, with respect to the injunction, uh, what had, has occurred is that at the time when the new regulation was introduced, we had some very serious concerns with the new regulation. Uh, we felt that there were different aspects that violated our rights um, and would have had a, a negative impact on our business, which could have impacted our operations and even how we pay for cane. And so to avoid any short-term um, adverse impacts, we applied for an emergency injunction so that uh, a judge can review in particular the sections of the new regulations that we uh, had challenged. And so that emergency injunction uh, was going to take place on the 21st of July, uh, but we've uh, come to an agreement with the attorneys for the government to essentially leave the, the status quo um, whereby the, the the sections of the law that we have challenged uh, will in effect not not apply until the substantive matter is heard by a judge. And we know that that will take some months, uh, perhaps a ruling until maybe next year to be received. So those aspects of the regulations that you know we we have challenged, those will in, in effect be put on hold while the matter is heard. So for us, uh, it's the outcome we would have wanted where, whereby our business can continue to operate without any adverse impact until we get a ruling from the judge. While the company says it is pleased with this short-term decision, it hopes that stakeholders will reconsider the proposed aspects of the regulation, which they say poses potential negative on the entire sugar industry. The, the impact that it could have had is that if there were certain sections of the regulations which we believe we cannot comply with from a, from a practical and a legal standpoint, and if we don't comply, then it gives the power uh, to the minister and the Sugar Industry Control Board and the Supplies Control Unit to not issue us a license to export sugar or a permit to export sugar. And so if we are not unable to export sugar, it means that we cannot function as a business. So if we're not selling sugar, we're not collecting uh, revenues, which we then use in turn to pay uh, farmers. And so that was the adverse impact that you know we believe this regulation could have had because there were provisions and conditions in there for getting these permits and licenses, which we believe you know, violated our rights and we could not comply with and it could have been used uh, to withhold uh, approvals, which in turn would have neg negatively affected our business. Consent order released BSI ASR of certain aspects of the regulation, like becoming the conveyor of fair trade premiums to farmers, but the need to apply for a license is still enforceable. Applying for a, a license, uh, that is not a new requirement. We have applied for a license. Uh, it's just the conditions that are attached to those licenses, the things that we believe violated our, our rights or uh, we were unable to comply with, those are the ones that we have challenged uh, and that will await the outcome. But in terms of having to apply for a license and you know providing certificate of good standing, uh, GST certificate, uh, the business we are in, we have done that because we didn't feel there was anything um, uh, difficult in, in doing that, right? So we, we, we will apply for a license every year. It's the different stipulation and provisions uh, that could determine or impact issuing of those licenses and permits uh, mm -hmm. that we have challenged in particular. 
A new date for the substantial hearing in court has not yet been set but is expected for the coming months.